Aloha once again. This is Dave Erickson, this time at the Ironman Expo and Village along Ali'i Drive. It's race week before the 2013 GoPro Ironman World Championship. And today, I'm taking in the sights and sounds of the Expo and getting techie with the athletes. What's your favorite piece of gear and why? It would have to be my Terry saddle, which is a 1998 model, um, but it's one I've tried lots of different saddles and that seems to be my favorite. One of my favorite pieces of gear has to be the uh, Run Trainer 2.0 by Timex. Uh, reason being, functionality, easy to use, um, and it always works. Okay, so my favorite pieces of gear are my SRM power meter and my Garmin 500. Uh, validates the effort that I'm putting out and make sure I'm on track and hitting my bike splits. I'd say my favorite piece of gear is the Compu Trainer. Uh, based on where I live in Italy, uh, there's pretty rough winters with the snow and the rain, so you got to spend a lot of time on the trainer if you're going to train all year round. What's your go-to piece of equipment and why? My Zoot Visor, because I like to wear them because they're not too hot for a regular hat. For me, that's maybe the wheels and the bike, because I, I like the, the most aerodynamic part um, I like it, the piece is technical and uh, for me, I, li I like the bike, yes. My go-to gear is my head sweats. I can't run without them, especially out here, the just dripping. My go-to choice would be head sweat visor, my Garmin watch and my fuel belt. So talk about the expo and the expo experience over the years here in Kona. Sure, my first expo was in 1992, working for Power Bar, and that expo was held in the lobby of the King Kamehameha. There were only about 12 booths there that year. It was the old school Saucony, where Mike Riley was the rep back then. Scott Tinley and Tinley Clothing, they're not even around anymore. They were there. Gatorade was there. Uh, Power Bar was there. Power Bar is still here. Timex was there as well. Timex, the oldest standing sponsor, partner of Ironman. But the expo was very small. It only had one unique category for each of the 12 booths. Booth, so it really was very small. People would come in and people would go. Now the expo, 20 plus years later, we've got over 60 booths. People stay the day. We've got food trucks here between the demos and the food and the uh, stage times and the seminars. People are going to spend three, four, five, six hours in the expo walk away with hundreds of dollars worth of gear, swag, S-W-A-G, stuff we all get. And uh, that's what the Expo's all about, carrying the passion, carrying the message of swim, bike, run, have fun, anything is possible, do an Ironman. And be sure to catch all the action on race day Saturday by going to Ironman.com. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson here at the 2013 GoPro Ironman World Championship.